once you've got your area nailed, you want to know, am I going to make some money? The numbers have to stack. So then it's all about really looking at your rates. Now, of course, you can do your homework again, as I say, on AirDNA, Airbnb, Booking.com. You can look at hotels. You can look at everything to give yourself a nightly rate. But most people always look at a premium nightly rate or they'll look at the weekend or, the, you know, Saturday night, Friday nights. They'll look at that sort of thing. What I would say to you is have a look at what the nightly rate is Mondays to Fridays everybody wants to look at the top dollar what can I earn what can I make and this is where I actually see people falling into a trap and making mistakes in their numbers because they're always looking at the premium night they may be trying to average it out a bit but if you look at the less premium times and you base your numbers on that and you do a 50% occupancy a 75% occupancy and you're looking at those thinking well if nothing else if I do a rent to rent on this or if I do a management on this I mean management is great anyway because you could just going to take your percentage so make sure that you're not just looking at the best I know a lot of people will say take an average of this but I would just say look at what is the steady figure you don't need to take an average of the best and the worst if anything stack it on the worst this is if I only made this would it still stack because you know that if it does still stack and you can get the occupancy there you're onto a winner and that's what it's all about. So even at the beginning when things and times could be slow, getting this set up, getting people in, you're only going to get stronger. It's only going to get better. You're only going to get all repeat customers as well.